What's up, Ninbuzz? Welcome back to more Kirby's Return to Dreamland. How y'all doing today? You feeling good? I'm feeling good. I'm in a good mood. So happy that I feel like doing a challenge. So this is my second time doing the whoosh, whip challenge. And every guy out there can do the whip sound effect. Even if you don't do it that well, every guy at some point has to make the whoosh sound. Because you got that one friend who he just like gets bullied around by his girlfriend. And he never wants to do anything anymore. Like he used to hang out with you guys. He used to always do stuff. But now he's like, no, I, I can't, I can't hang with you guys tonight. And they're like, what's wrong? He's like, uh, Brittany, she wants me to come over and help her paint her toenails. And then, then all your guy friends, they look at each other, you like synchronize it up, and then all in unison, we all go, whoosh. <laughs> Alright, so it'd probably help if I like mentioned what's going on and maybe gave some helpful tips. Down here, got a little bomb, you gotta be really fast to so snag this gold coin. There's already been some places that I've had some room for improvement because I've been kind of slow. I'm still getting used to this. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned I did this once before so this is my second run through I wanted to make sure I wasn't like a complete and total failure because that tends to like frustrate people I don't know sometimes I get comments and people are like you should practice this so I want to practice a little bit But also I don't want to get like do it too many times and I'll lose the spontaneity that little switch right there Will open that doorway and inside there is some gold coins, but I messed up getting that but that's okay Oh, no Definitely don't want to do that. Every time you get hit by an enemy, the same deal with the sword challenge. You lose 500 points, and also it just slows you down. So, uh, another gold coin that I missed. So definitely a lot of room for improvement. I doubt highly that I will get a gold. Oh, we got silver. Not too bad. All right, so that was a decent run. Like I said, timing more than anything is going to help you get a good score. And if you can make sure you don't do the mistakes that I did, you will probably get yourself a gold. All right, so we're back in onion ocean we're not going to level one two or three because we did all those in previous episodes no we're gonna swim down underground i like i love the way kirby like navigates you through the levels like it's not the same simple just you know walk to the next level or just click on the next level no you get to kind of walk around you get to swim you get to do all sorts of cool stuff kirby that's why you're the best man that and you're like this cute little pink ball and the ladies can't get enough of you yeah kirby's like if you if you have like a really cute dog and then you're just out walking it, and girls will always come up to you. That, that's the same thing playing Kirby game. No, not really. It doesn't really work that way. I wish it did. That'd be awesome, man. Be like, how'd you land her? Be like, oh, I was, I was at GameStop. She saw me buying Kirby's Return to Dreamland. And <laughs> next thing you know, we got married. <laughs> All right, so let's make our way down through here past these little squid enemies and go into this doorway of awesomeness because it has the little starways like if i had like a house i would like totally rig up some like little stars that spun around on it that'd be the best thing ever no it looked really weird like if you have people over they'd be like what's the deal with this aren't you a little bit old for stars on your doorway like i guess that would be okay if you're like a little kid but it would probably look weird if I had that now, I don't care. It's still cool. I'm gonna do it. All right, so go up here. Can I have your parasail really quick? Thank you. And I'll, I'll take a donut. I'll help myself to a donut. I got an umbrella and a donut. That's stuff that you can only get in Kirby games. Okay. Squishy, no. Don't follow me home. I don't want a bad squishy. No, I don't like you. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is spinning this way. It always takes me like an, a second or two longer than I think everybody else in the universe to figure out which way I'm supposed to go with these spinning pattern things. I don't know. I always feel a little bit slow about that. All right, so let's get our stored ability, and we got another decision. I uh, let's go ahead and hit the bottom. Oh, okay. So we did it right. Now let's pull the switch. Ah, that that was kind of tricky because if you'd have pulled the lever first and then tried to do the switch and then the key to fall down you wouldn't have been able to get this energy spear you'd have felt like a dunderhead uh <laughs> i know i would have but luckily we were able to think it out we were able to use our reasoning skills that we learned in third grade and we were able to we were able to get through this that's like the last time that i felt confident in an academic setting was third grade after that stuff just started getting hard man all right so make our way through here no 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 oh kirby oh we lost no more sword for you all right so no stop man when it rains it pours sometimes at least we got a cherry kirby let's try not to get hit anymore and hopefully there's like another ability that we can get all right so gotta get past these guys before they no 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 kirby all right so i love how our breath is just so potent that we can take out enemies with breath that can oh okay I was wondering could we break those bricks, but yeah, they'd have given us a power up and quit. And sometimes you like can't break stuff with just your breath alone. 
But this time, I guess it deemed it okay. Get away from me, little blippy squishy, no! Have a dance party with somebody else, I don't want to be your friend. Go over here, suck up this water gordo, so we can have some kind of ability. And plus, this hat is just so freaking amazing! Alright, so, Krabby, you can get wet. I don't know why that would hurt you at all. Oh, I thought we were going to take out your platform. That's okay. We'll let you two guys live. Because you guys are doing some kind of like synchronized swimming routine. Let's get past this little glunk. Leave you guys alone. Because you guys aren't doing anything. You're just hanging out, chilling. And we got us an energy spear. And also a magical mystical lollipop. So it looks like the energy spear is like in a doorway right next door. Um, but it looks like that's covered up with grass. I guess we can just see if it's an actual doorway like it's not lit up oh okay it is i'm trying to be tricky hide us they're always they just can never make it easy for us can they no gotta be tricky and hide these energy spears for us all right two down three more to go and aw, i lost my awesome lollipop of invincibility why don't they sell those for real like Willy wonka seriously dude get on that that would be the best thing ever I wish Willy Wonka, his uh, chocolate factory was real. I'd totally go and hang out there. Can we go? No. I thought maybe we could go up a little bit higher. But alas, yet another dream ruin. Just like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory not being real, we can't go up there either. So many broken dreams. Story of my life. All right, so let's make our way through here. Why is that little spiky ball making all those like bubbles? Is it breathing? Is there something alive in there? I guess just like the flow of the water, it's gonna create bubbles, but still, it's kinda weird. Alright, no more water, Kirby. No, we are spear, well we were spear, Kirby, for like about two seconds. Let's go, hopefully, yeah. It's like, hopefully this respawns, but then I'm staring there looking right at it. So yeah, of course it does. There's a little box right there, it comes back like every half second. So let's make our way up here, put another fish on the spear, and then what do we got going on? Oh no, we have to release the giant spiky ball! It's so Indiana Jones! And been redone like a million times by everybody else after Indiana Jones. And I don't know, it might have been done by somebody before Indiana Jones. Maybe they ripped it off from somebody else. You never know. I don't want to accuse Harrison Ford of ripping something off. No, <laughs> it would have been him, it would have been George Lucas. Harrison Ford's too cool to uh, rip stuff off like that. Like when I was uh, looking up for this video, I wanted to have like a quote about whips. And so, uh, had to go with Shannon Elizabeth, because she's amazing. But there was another one that I was thinking of using, it was uh, Harrison Ford, and he was like, I don't mind doing interviews about the movies that I've been in, but I get kind of tired of people asking me uh, dumb stuff like, if you had your choice of a lightsaber or a whip, which one would you use? And he's like, I'm not freaking Han Solo or Indiana Jones, I'm Harrison Ford. But still, if you're going to have, like, uh anybody know you for stuff that's like two of the most awesome rules of all time all right so we gotta break these little bricks over here and oh look at that energy spear was hiding under there the whole time all right so now we can make our way up this current right here go in this doorway we still got two more energy spears to go i wonder if it's going to be one of those things where we have to go into the bizarro world and fight a spear doomer or are we just gonna get like two more energy spears i'm i'm betting on spear doomer what do you guys take your bets right now and then we'll like we'll like see who's right we'll do like an instant viewer poll no <laughs> we don't have that yet on youtube that's probably coming for like the big channels that'll be the next big thing it's gonna have instant viewer polls oh what's what's this thing down here it has oh it's, it's getting bigger it has like a uh, a skull on it so is this like a bomb like a big poison bomb or something like that. Oh, Kirby, it's, it's growing really big. You got to get rid of that thing. Throw it over there. Now it's you guys' problem. Oh, okay. We got us a one-up. Oh, no, power up, power up. Come back, come, come back. Come to me, power up. There we go. It's weird how sometimes the power ups, they like disappear like almost instantly. And other times they hang out for a while. So it's like sometimes they want you to keep that power up. Because this hat is so awesome. We wouldn't want to go without this hat. All right, so another bomb. This time we have to like carry it across spikes. Good thing those little platform switch things are there. All right, so oh oh, don't want to fall down. Oh, this is getting really big. It's gonna explode. Throw it at the gold, quick. Oh no, wrong way, Kirby. What was that? Womp womp womp. <laughs> that was an epic fail. It's true what they say. Failure's not flattering. Look at all this backtracking that I have to do, all because. The punk, all because of a little finger slip at the last possible second. I got scared for whatever reason. I don't know. 
because it's I'm playing this at four in the morning and I heard a noise under my bed. I thought it was a monster coming to eat me, but it just turned out um no. <laughs> No, I'm playing this during the day. I'm too scared to play games during the night. Even Kirby games, even though there's nothing here. Alright, let's throw this. Now we can turn around so we don't get, like, debris flying all over us. So I guess we're not going to be fighting the Spear Zuma after all. Because that is our fourth out of... Kirby, stop going in spikes. You'll live longer. That is our fourth energy spear. So it looks like we have to get all five of them individually. We have to get past this electric eel. I don't know if he's an electric eel. He's a big old eel and he's trying to eat us. I believe those things are called barbars, and I might be pronouncing them wrong, but uh, and I might have the whole name wrong. I might be confusing it with another enemy, but I think when I was uh, doing my Kirby research, my extensive Let's Play preparation, no, I wasn't. <laughs> I just happened to uh, see something. I was uh, somebody had mentioned what some of the enemy names were. And I believe those things are called barbars. Could be wrong. You guys, feel free to collect, correct me, collect me. You know what I'm trying to say. Correct me in the comments and correct my grammar and send me bad don't send me to that guy's mouth i don't like getting eaten i lost my ability and i can't speak english i don't care though Let, let's let's do this over again no don't hit me too all right let's go ahead now we're focused got a spear back i'm speaking english actual words i'm not mixing stuff up i'm ready to go that, that was just that was a little slip up and now we're back on track we're pro we're ready to finish off the rest of this episode in style, I'm going to get my last energy spear. I'm not going to get hit by anything else. I'm going to get all the items, all the power-ups, except for that candy. Yeah, I got those stars right there. All right, so up here, yes, there, there it is. What I've been waiting for, my final energy spear of the stage. All right, so stage three, four, complete. Kirby, we passed up that last piece of bubblegum. Can't let two pieces of candy in a row go by. No, that wouldn't be legit. That wouldn't make sense. Kirby would never do that. All right, so you guys can't eat me. Focus now. Yes, I'm pro. Now, oh, big mama. Stop trying to swallow me. I won't be a tasty treat. You two, oh, no. He didn't eat me, but, like, his lower lip smacked me around. That's when you know you're a big dude, when, like, just your lower lip or your jaw can beat up somebody. All right, so I'm focused now. I'm ready. I'm set. This is going to be a good one. I know I can do this. I'm going to get the top score. I tried to talk myself up, I tried to give myself a motivational speech, tried to be my own cheerleader, thinking that, you know, positive reinforcement could help me out, but I don't think anything's gonna help me out. You guys can tell me a million times how to do a slingshot, and I choke every freaking time. I don't know why. Alright, so, that's gonna do it for this episode. In the next episode of Kirby's Return to Dreamland, we are gonna be taking on a boss. See you guys then.